So we are in Kitale and how green can it be? As green as Uganda is how we call it. And quick as a flash, 200 k north, the scenery changes and it becomes Let's on four wheels want to share our adventures on Patreon and YouTube. Join us as we travel our wonderful world. Share our posts. Lou and Karin would love you to experience adventure people places. Subscribe to our Patreon page or YouTube and come along on our adventures. And welcome to our next day. <laughs> okay. Karin, so I'm doing the Twitcher, uh, bird, bird watcher, Nick. And welcome to our next episode, episode... 31 if I am correct. I'm also, losing count. Yeah. Right. Bit of excitement for the day. We're heading up northeast towards Electric Corner. We've just been stopped by the police and said there's a possibility that there's bandit activity on the road for the next 35 kilometers. You nervous, sweetie? No, we're going to drive with this car in front of us. Yeah, so we are driving with a very small taxi in front of us. And I just said if somebody wants to stop you next to next to the road, just don't stop. Yeah, just keep, drive to the next post. Keep, keep, keep going. And it's better than last month. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and it's better than last month. So here is our escort or diversion vehicle in front of us. We just passed the next police checkpoint and no sign of bandits so one guy casually walking around with her AK-47 but that was it so I think we are in the clear I cannot believe that um, a year and a half ago it was episode one and I was learning to edit and I am still learning to edit but yeah welcome to Electrocana behind us it's quite flat very flat very um, wavy and it's also known Karin it's like Rudolf all the main from A to, to R at the moment but they changed it back to like Turkana which is more, feels more natural and yeah and it's probably more real place I've wanted to visit since I saw it in the movie called English Patient it's extremely hot here um, there are some um, what you call them palm trees coconut trees <laughs> palm trees I'm, 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 I'm heated a cold deprived um, there are quite a few um, coconut trees, but they, they're quite short and like bushy. So we're going to look for a spot um, under one of these umbrella trees, just for some shade, because it's, it's, it, you can feel the sun penetrating those first three layers of epidermis, I think, all at once. A yeah, major, cha major change from the two days ago in Kitali, where it was all green. So let's take you along on our adventure around Lake Turkana. It's a quick pit stop next to the road on the mighty B4 heading south from Lake Turkana. Again, brilliant driving today. It was fascinating seeing how the people's dress is so different. Staying in small little huts, very little western style houses, some schools scattered. People with top hats, the ladies with the big um, bead. Um, neck, I would only call it neck braces, and we're heading down to lake. Hmm? We're heading down to lake uh, uh, Balindi. Balind, ba Balindi. Ba 
We think it's Lake Belendi. We'll confirm that yeah. here um, before we circle around the southern part of Lake Turkana and heading north towards Ethiopia. Mm. Any words of wisdom, honey? No, it just it, it's a lot greener than what it looks like. It's really green, green, and there's people everywhere again. Yeah, mm. the the ground looks quite deserty, but. Um, mm. The shrubs and the trees are extremely like green. green. Yeah, so mm. they must get quite a bit of rain here. Mm. Yeah. Luckily for us, it hasn't rained. There's water standing everywhere, but mm. it hasn't rained, wow. so the roads are quite interesting. What do you think of the drive? Quite interesting. Yeah, she's coming around, slowly but surely. So One hour of this is enough for me. But it's only been four hours, mm. three hours, to do 80 k's. Mm. Yeah. So let's hit the road. Mm. One of the special things and the pleasures of traveling in a wheelchair is that you have to do maintenance and sometimes repairs. Especially if you're somebody that's as handy as me, it takes quite a while and meticulous planning not to lose things in the dust, which I have a bad habit of doing. So I need to carry some special tools and make sure I have extra nuts and bolts for if my wheelchair breaks, which hasn't happened on this trip since March, since I got it repaired in Cape Town. Okay. So it's been a long day driving, left at 8 o'clock, arrived here at 7, we did a loop, a, a loop around the southern point of Lake Turkana, did some shopping, I got my fast food fix, KFC, Karin's even eating KFC, she's even eating KFC now, hard to believe. What are, you, what are you eating, Annie? I'm eating KFC. No, sorry, sorry, say that again. I'm eating KFC or CFK. Chips with cheese on it. And I'll it, never do it at home. Is it nice? No, it's okay. I need to improve my mood. Yeah. Mm. Karin's very tired. It, it's been a hard day driving, lots of concentration. Mm. Lots so, of speed bumps. Yeah. Uh, we call speed bumps traffic calmers because that's what they call it in Namibia. Mm. So what did you think of the drive? Hmm. Well, we saw Mount Kenya. It was... We stayed in touch with beautiful places. So, um, Baringo, like like Baringo was very nice. Oh uh, yeah, it's a bit more Karoo desert type and these crocodiles. What else is there? So it was nice, there were hippos walking around early this morning around our car and um, then it got very green and then it started to rain very hard now we're in the desert again so, uh. and so we end episode 30 I had it wrong in the beginning it wasn't 31 episode 30 I mm. hope you enjoyed it with us mm. thanks again to our patrons next time we'll be live from Ethiopia <laughs> yes, yes. Thanks, thank you again to all our patrons. You are the guys that make it possible. Remember, if you want to join us on Patreon and see the movies as we do them and get some nice Phyllis on Four Wheels presents. Mm. I bought a few presents today for our patrons. Yeah, yes, only for our patrons, the $5 or more patrons. So please go to www.patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and come along on the adventures. <laughs>